Now, before tractors, portable workbenches and diesel generators, the steam engine was the Swiss army knife of agriculture and industry, and traction engines were the cutting-edge technology of the time, being able to propel itself and then run any number of attachments, from farm equipment to fairground rides. So, ahead of a steam rally this weekend, I went to meet with an enthusiast who has restored his grandfather's engine. In an outbuilding near Bishop's Waltham, tinkering and fettling is taking place, and with the help of some good friends and copious amounts of tea, a vintage vehicle is gearing up to make an appearance. And it's a machine that holds a special significance for its owner. My grandfather bought it brand new in 1912, because he used to have what they call a threshing machine business in Mitchell Dever, just to the north of Winchester. And uh, he kept it until 1960, when it was just laid up and out of use and um, then it was rescued by a, a local farmer who restored some of it and um, took it to a few shows. Unfortunately he died in 1974 and uh, it was bought by a scrap dealer then which was a bit worrying um, but I managed to buy it back from him in 1977 and I've had it ever since. The last year or so it's been a bit of a full-time hobby because we had a new boiler made for the engine and to do that you have to completely dismantle the engine have the new boiler made and then rebuild the engine around the boiler. Well the boiler work is a specialist job so we sent it away to a steam boiler specialist for that but other bits we have to make ourselves. Uh, this engine was made by McLaren in Leeds in 1910 and uh, unfortunately you can't bring them up now and ask for a spare part for it so uh, we have to make them ourselves. This particular one was used for thrashing which is, I don't know what you, if you know what thrashing is, but it's before we had the combine harvester, we used to have to build great big ricks of corn, and the ears were still attached to the corn at that point, and so the threshing contractor would go around and park his threshing machine next to the rick and put a belt on the flywheel on the engine here and drive the threshing machine with that, and that would separate the corn from the straw and um, keep the farmer happy. And in 1910, when this was made, that was uh, cutting-edge technology. Aside from the family connection, what is it about this type of engine that Michael enjoys? Uh, I think it satisfies all the senses, the appearance of it, the smell, the sound, everything is um, iconic to a steam engine. Oh, well, there's a bit of history that would be completely lost if we didn't um, take the effort to, to restore them and show them to people, because people of, uh, say, below, below the age of 50 now would have never ever seen one and um, until we showed them to them. So when you have your engine working and nicely polished, why not show it off? Michael has been taking his engine to a local steam rally for over 40 years now. On the 13th and 14th, yes, it's the Build Target Steam Rally, which is held at Highbridge near Eastley. Um, I should be driving this and then other people will take over and I should probably be on the gate and helping generally around the site. I think I first attended it in 1974, before you were born. And um, got more and more involved with it over the years. I'm on the committee now and um, the rally itself is what we call a rally for enthusiasts and for families. So we cover both angles and there's always things for the children to do and the parents are interesting. And we're always known as a very friendly rally. In other words, you can come and talk to the drivers and um, maybe have a little fun draw around with the steam engine under supervision, of course. People have um, vintage cars, obviously steam engines, uh, vintage tractors, uh, and commercial vehicles, emergency vehicles, fire engines, that sort of thing. There's also a working display as well where these will be offered to a saw bench or a stone crusher or something like that so you can see what they actually did years ago. This is Richard Stringer for That's TV.